Hey guys, what's going on, Scats? We are playing, and oh god, this is the wrong loadout. Uh, okay, there we go. Um, we're playing some of the Ruby Life Pools. This is a new dungeon here in Dragonflight Alpha. Uh, playing Elemental Shaman here. This is supposed to be a T. That's there. Okay. Um, it, it reset my talents right before we started this. So hopefully everything is on and working. We will see, though, because I don't actually know. Uh, we do have logs running here. We shall see. Uh, looks like we've got a little bit of problem here with... Uh, threat. At least that appears to be an issue. Okay, we have Surge of Power here, because I finally did cast. Right there, my next spell cast is enhanced. We're going to do Flame Shock. Surge of Power. Just get some more Chain Lightnings out there. Guaranteed Overload there for that ability. Uh, oh, I would purge that, but I did not take purge. So we will just have to go ahead and, uh, you know, blast through it there. Definitely need to be using Ice Fury more often. It's really weird not having weak auras because I'm so used to them. But we'll make it work. Oh boy. Uh, sure. There we go. Hit him with Ice Furies here. Get some more Chain Lightnings out there. Hit him with another Earthquake. Get some more Lightning out there. Ooh. So many mobs. Alright. Big damage, big damage, no whammy, stop. Uh, damn it. This is really awkward. Oh, Jesus, there, right, yeah, we better pop, uh, better pop our CG there. Stay alive, hopefully. Oh, it kicked off my lightning shield as well. That's annoying. see what we do here. Are we just charging right in? You're going over there. Okay. Guaranteed overload is always nice. Trying to get as much mails from as possible here before we go into our next pool. Uh, we can drop that there. We get our surge of power. Blast on in there. Got our Ice Fury going again. Ooh! That was a big hit. I require a target. Okay. Going. He's picking those. Okay. Well. Palpatine off these enemies over here. Alright. We got our dragon guy here. This is not a boss. Our boss is in the next room. So we're going to wait to pop our big CD here. A blazing rush. He's going to charge around a bit.
There we go. Yeah, Elemental definitely has some fun builds to play. We got a uh, Orc DK. Pretty good stuff, honestly. We're just going to go ahead and we're going to try to blast as hard as we can here. Looks like Frost Overload is kind of like her kill command type thing. Ooh. Yeah, that was a little scary. Ooh. Big, big damage there. Right. These guys here will take us up to the top section. Gonna see where those campaign quests there. That was the first boss was Milladrus at Chillsworn. Not gonna get into any of the lore here on these because there's just no reason to at this point. We're just not there yet. Nor is lore actually my thing. So. This up here is our next boss, which is uh, Kokia Blaze Hoop. We actually go around the entire top area up here in a circle. Uh, our tank gets to take us wherever they want to go. A ton of damage being taken there. Okay. Now, I do not have Primal Elementalist because I couldn't take that and play the specific talents that I wanted for bosses. So I just took the AoE, uh, AoE talents that I wanted. And again, that's just because I really wanted to play the AoE build. I'll be able to in a couple levels. But until then, I have just the Wimpy Elemental, which is fine. I goof that up. It's alright though. This pool up here is going to be great. Go ahead, just drop some more chain lightning there, get some more earthquakes down. Make sure I'm out of the burnout, because that will kill me. That guy's just gonna spin until he's dead. Okay. Oh god, I forgot there's this huge gap here between these. Yeah, my Stormkeeper and my Ice Fury are totally wasted there. I totally wasted a CD. That's alright, though. They'll be back up before the boss. We'll just spam chain lightning and be boring.
There we go. Got my mind on the money. Oh, wow. Woo. All right, so we got 71 males for me going to the next pool with, and I should have a little bit of everything. Okay. All right, so this pool here, I'm just going to absolutely melt. There's the burnout, which, you know, means the pool's over. Alright, now we got a couple little Scorchlings. And then we got a ball. Get some lava beams off here. Well, not gonna get the lava beams. That's all right. Though. Boy, those big, uh, big balls of fire, they're bad for you, or so I've been told. Easy boss. The boss is pretty easy, just a couple things to you know, kind of look around for, thankfully. The next boss is a little a little bit more spectacular in terms of location. Still not a crazy difficult fight. This instance in general is pretty easy, but it's also very quick. Uh, it also feels very front-loaded with trash for the most part. Now, this guy here, we are going to absolutely pop lost right away. Woo. He comes down, he's got just a little bit of HP left. And these like little like lava thingy bops here are 
incredibly bad for my FPS, it looks like. Okay. Nothing special there. Darn, no loot. I hate whenever you don't see any loot at all in the dungeon. But that happens. But that there is the uh, the ruby, ruby light pools. This is the third dungeon we are seeing now. And uh, honestly, seems pretty good. This is the build I played here. Again, definitely not optimized. Uh, I did take Flash of Lightning, which realistically I shouldn't have taken this. I probably should have stopped. Should have quit, pulled this point out here and gone with either Elemental Blast or attempted to find a way to get down to Primal Elementalist over here, but I really just wanted to have further beyond uh, and Ascendance, which I only got to use like two, maybe three times in the whole dungeon. So uh, anyway, guys, that's the run for today. Catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.